Hi, I'm Matt, and in this video tutorial, so I believe it's about part six now, we're actually going to be solving a annoying issue which I ran into do with PHP and time and date functions on my Onion Amiga. And the irony is, is that this is really simple to resolve. So first of all, we're going to see what the issue is, and then you're going to find out, like I found out, that it's really simple to resolve. So we're going to need two things available to us. Number one, you're going to need to be connected to your Onion Amiga, so you can see that up on my screen right now. And the other thing is, is that you're going to need a terminal window as well. So let me just clear the window from where we were before. And let me just demonstrate the issue to you. Okay, so let me just jump up a folder. So I'm in www.php. I'm going to edit a file called index.php. And in here, if I try and echo a date type, so I just use a standard date function, day, hyphen, month, hyphen, year, and then close that like so and then save that so control x and then y is that if i now browse to that on our onion amiga so index.php ah no oh, this one just drove me nuts a uh, date is not safe to rely on the system time zone so i've come across that i'm sure you've come across that before oh whoops we need to add the time zone either set it by any set or the date time dot time zone whatever the command is to put in our php files we can deal with those as developers but the other error is fatal error date time zone databases corrupt this should never happen and i just couldn't get to the bottom of this and big hat tip to manuel who put the actual answer on how to resolve this in the community forum so a big hat tip to you fella for that one and to be able to resolve this is really straightforward what we're actually missing is the zone info details on our onion amiga so that's what we're going to go and do we're going to do two things number one is install the time zones on our onion amiga and we are also going to update php to the correct time zone as well now before we continue it is worth just pointing out and i'm just looking for the link for you is that if you're not sure on what your time zone is and the link will be underneath this video tutorial as well is that if you go to php.net okay and look up the time zones so i'm based in bristol actually in the united kingdom so of course you would change your continent accordingly so we're going to choose europe my setting would be london wherever it is on that page let me just cheat london there we go i would want to set my time zone settings to europe forward slash london but maybe if you're sat in malta for example or moscow you would want to change your value and also the package you would want to choose so if you're in America, okay, or the Americas, is that you would want to change your value accordingly and also install a different package to what I'm going to cover in this video tutorial. And by the way, that message which just popped up on your screen, that's push bullet. That's actually live. That's what's actually happened with one of my Onion Amigas is someone's just gone past the front door. I'm pretty sure that's my father. And then the Onion Amiga has then updated a Raspberry Pi within my internal network which then has a PHP script running continuously, which then updates push bullet and then push bullet. My phone's just buzzed in the background. It's popped up on my desktop and then one of the iPads, it would have gone as well. So that's just a real life use of PHP. Anyway, getting back onto the topic. Let's go back to our console and we want to start off by typing OPKG update. We should always start by using OPKG update because if we don't do that and go to install some other packages it, it will get failure messages and you'll go why is this not working but actually it does work we just need to run opkg space update first now before we continue we're actually going to look at the packages which are available to us so we're going to run the command called opkg space list a pipe symbol so that's the one that you press shift and then the one just above your windows key on the left hand side grep and then zone info by the way all these commands are underneath this video tutorial so you can copy and paste them too so let's go and run that that will take a few seconds to run and now we can see the different zone infos which are available now i'm based in the united kingdom so i know that i need the zone info hyphen europe but you may need a different one so please change this tutorial to suit your own needs Next, we now need to install the zone info. So again, I'm just copying this off the tutorial which I wrote for this. So we're going to go OPKG space install and then the package name. And the package name in this case is going to be zone info hyphen Europe. 
Okay, and of course, if you wanted one for Africa or Asia or somewhere else, you would change the country or the location on the zone on the end. So let's get that installed, press return. This will take a few seconds to come down. Excellent, happy days. The last task which we need to make is that we need to set our default time zone within our php.ini file. Now to do that, it's really straightforward. We're gonna use nano to edit that file. So nano space and then forward slash etc forward slash php.ini, press return. Now this is quite far down this page. So I'm just gonna scroll down and we're looking for date dot. And then I've forgotten the rest of it. We'll find it in just a second. It's further down. And by the way, this is where you can also, if you've installed other PHP packages or extensions, this is where you can enable them by removing the semicolon in front of them. Add ah, date time zone. So we're gonna remove the semicolon from the end of there. And then on the end, we're gonna type in Europe and then forward slash and then London. Now, if you're not sure on what you should be putting on there, that's why I included, and that's why I've left that php.net page open in the background. Maybe you were in America, and then Dawson, for example, then you can enter that time zone into your file. So let's get back to our terminal. We've been and made some changes. We now need to save those, so we're gonna press Control X, Y to save them, enter to go through, and happy days. Now, if we now go back to our browser window and then reload, ta-da! And you can tell the day which this was recorded was the 30th of March, 2016. And that's how you can start using date and time functions with PHP on your Onion Amiga. So for myself, Matt, I hope this video tutorial has been and helped you. And I'll see you in the next one. And cheerios for now. Bye-bye.